Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I thought I would share with you what I'll be taking with me um, to my trip to Trinidad where my family and I are going to um, spend quite a few months building a new eco home. So um, these are the art supplies, not all of them because some of them um, I'm still using. So um, some art supplies will go up with me in my suitcase. But um, since like a crate is being sent, I thought I would send this because there's some heavy things in here. So I'm just going to quickly go through. Um, so like here's like a roll of greaseproof paper to protect the pages that I've worked on in my sketchbook. Because sometimes like the pencil can rub. I got a few notebooks. They're just li simple line notebooks. Um, I got this like as a pack of three from Wilco's and I just thought that would just be useful to have just in case. And um, I got a Yoohoo glue stick. Um, I've never used one before. It's like a screw on top which is quite nice. So I'm guessing it shouldn't dry out as easily as like the rest of them. And um, I just thought this would be useful like if I'm I'm um, doing something in my journal, I want to stick down like some paper or something, I can use this, um, especially if I don't want to like use PVA glue, because I have quite a small bottle of PVA glue here, just um, 100 mils. Um, I probably won't be doing a lot of mixed media, more watercolour anyway, so I just had this, I'm not, I think I got this in like a kit or something, so I thought this would be nice and useful. I have a bottle that I can put water in um, as well as a spray bottle so like this could be used um, to refill my water brushes using a pipette and here I just have like um, a few different kind of gift cards and like old debit cards and stuff um, that I can use for many different things spreading paint or just anything really here I just have some um, pencils like some sketching pencils that I've had for a while um, you can see that some of them have been used quite a lot because I do plan to be doing um, some sketching for a project I'm not going to say what it is yet though um, I want to wait until it's a little bit um, oh, what's the word a, a more more has been completed of it so um that's something that you guys will find out um when the time is right i have a roll of masking tape and a roll of double-sided tape i have some black calligraphy ink i haven't gotten my black uh, my calligraphy pen yet though just because i'm still using that so that'll go up with me um on the plane i have a bottle of clear chalk primer um, a pot of chalk primer and a pot of texture paste. Um, the clear chalk primer and the chalk primer are 500 mils and this is 200 mils for the texture paste. Um, and that's basically like what you would, um, the mediums that you would find in like the subscription boxes. That's what I made for myself. Um, yeah, so I, sh I should be set for those m months. Um, I have a pack of post-it notes. Again, just thought it would be something useful. I got this from um, Wilco's as well um, for a pound. And just a little booklet and I thought that would just be um, good to have just in case. Um, I just need to take something down on the post-it note. I have a pack of paints. These are all 18 mil, and I thought this would be a nice size for um, a, a long period of time just because they're bigger instead of like a 12 mil. I'm not sure where this is from. Um, I think this came in a kit from maybe Little or something um, a while ago, and I've just kind of been keeping it there for when I needed it um, since I already had paints. So this came in perfect. And um, with like acrylic painting, mixed media, anything like that, you tend to use more white paint. So I got this um, 200ml of um, tuba paint from Wilco's as well. This paint is really quite nice. Um, it's quite thick, so I thought I would take that. And um, I have a ruler, because you never know when you need a ruler. 
and that's just like a 30 centimeter one i have one tin of watercolors this is like the kind of cheap watercolors um i will be taking my windsor newton ones but i'm not comfortable putting them in here just in case stuff gets lost i don't want to lose my windsor newton ones um and i'll probably use that on the plane or something on our way there so um this is just what i'm packing for now for the watercolors but i'll have more with me um a stapler again could be useful that's the one i use for any like traveling on the go in this pouch i have a like blending stub for when i'm sketching this is by derwent i have this like sandpaper kind of i'm not sure what you would call it but all of these papers are sandpaper which helps um clean your blending stub i have sharpener quite a few rubbers um this is the replacement um pencil nibs for my mechanical pencil and you'll see those in a little bit and again i got that um this came with the pencils from wilco's um some more rubbers i got rubbers for like both for just general use and like sketching i have another sharpener just in case as well as a putty um rubber which is the one that you can like mold into it with your fingers so that's useful for sketching as well so that's what's in um this pouch and like if you're not too sure like you're like wait what a second she's going um away for a while i will link my newsletter down below which has more information on that um yeah so like my shop will be offline and stuff like that but i will whenever i have internet because where i'll be going i won't have access to internet um all the time um so whenever i do have access i will like update you guys on what's going on and how the build is going and everything like that um yes yeah, so um there will also be regular videos um every monday because i've been filming like crazy so that um you guys don't have to wait too long for videos because i um just don't know what I'll be able to do there. I'll be busy with the build. So um, I probably won't film any videos there, but I'll take photos of like what I create and stuff to be able to share with you guys on Facebook and Instagram. So um, you can follow me via those links below. And I just grabbed uh, two palettes, small palettes from Hobbycraft. Um, one for acrylic, one for watercolor. Um, this is a watercolor block I made myself. Um, I will link that video in an iCard in the top right hand corner so you can find out how to make that. Um, I made an A5 one and an A6 one. Um, yeah, and I can use, I'll probably mostly use that for watercolor, but I might do acrylic on that as well if I feel like it. Um, I just packed, I had this pack of um, small canvas boards yeah five by seven from the works and um yeah there was just like three leftovers of normally a pack of six so i just thought this would be nice just in case i felt um like doing something on a, a canvas i have a um a5 sketchbook from hobbycraft this is the one um like my a5 journal if you've been watching my videos before um if not and you're new i'll put a link to my um art journal playlist and i can top right hand corner this is the sketchbook i use for my a5 art journal and it's really nice it's like 140 gsm pages there's 40 pages acid free and it's just it's really nice pages actually and it stands up to mixed media a lot better than um i thought it was so i wanted to have one with me so this is new and that's just a pound from Hobbycraft, so it's a um, bit of a steal. I have this A5 sketchbook, again for the pro for that secret project. Um, I did a couple things in it. Um, I got it for something a while ago, but then that fell through. So there's still like loads more pages. I think, yeah, there's like 72 um, pages, so I have 70 left. Um, it's 130 GSM, so that's just perfect for what I'm planning to do. And you can even tear out the pages, so that's good because I'll use it for like both kind of notes ish kind of notes for um, the project as well as like um, 
kind of scrappy kind of sketches. In this pouch, I have um, my pipettes. I have two pipettes for refilling my water brushes. That's mainly what I use them for. A plastic palette knife that I tend to use while I'm like um, arting on the go. I will take a couple more palette knives with me when I'm traveling, um, but I'm using those at the moment, so I didn't want to pack them. I have a whole bunch of pencils, more pencils, um, like so these ones, oops, all of these ones are HB, they're by Staples, just in case you're wondering, um, these are by Ko I Noor, Hard Muth, not too sure if I'm saying that right, and it goes from HB, 3B, there's two 6Bs, I don't know why there's two, um, 5B, yeah, so that's quite a nice um, amount, like range. And then I have two mechanical pencils, this is the um, pack that came from the works. I'll probably get a, f um, a couple more like replacements or I might even have some from um, like a little kind of school like stationery kits um, for like to replace the nib because I may use it quite a lot. Um, yeah, I just thought it would be useful to have a mechanical pencil so it came in a pack of two and I think Mm, that was either like I think that might have been a couple pounds it was, it was quite good so um, yeah I thought that would be useful I got this pack of pens from Wilco's they're all black and there's five of them and there's it's quite nice um, kind of like ink flow and this is just mostly for writing in my like, notebook I could use it to sketch as well um, if I want to add like slightly darker areas I got I have a Unibull Signal. I will be traveling with a, another Unibull Signal just in case. Um, but yeah, so I just have one in here for now. This is the small one. Um, I prefer the broad, but the small one is cheaper. I get that for a pound of the range. It's a bit of a steal. Um, so I have the small one. And then this pack of Z Grip Zebra pencils. They're very smooth. The ink flow is lovely very very yummy pens um it's blue purple green black and pink and this is also from the works and i just saw this it was a bit of an impulse buy to be honest um but i did want some colored pens so i think that would be really useful um especially for the secret project and then i have a pack of um colorful staples to go with my stapler that's what's in that pouch um, and I'll make sure to have like a um, playlist of anything to do with like arting on the go just just for um like tips and tricks for you guys um like so this is on a big scale but i do have like a video for a smaller scale like when i went on my trip to europe last year so um i'll put those videos like in the icon top right hand corner as well as the playlist um i have this pack of very um like small paint brushes from the works you can see that was two pounds so it's got a nice small nib um, just in case I'm going to do any detail work and then I have these um, paint brushes I have no idea where I got these paint brushes from again I think it was a set and I just put it aside because I already had paint brushes um, and I didn't want to have to like use them unnecessarily until I needed them so this came in perfect um, they came in the same plastic bag I added a couple um, paint brushes like these two this is a liner brush from Hobbycraft that's the um, really good detailing brush that I keep on going on about um, I have a like one inch synthetic brush as well for if I want to do washes a fan brush and um, the pack also came with two 2B pencils um, they haven't been sharpened yet since they haven't been used so that was also useful and then this is my um, A4 sketchbook. 
this is what's going to be like for my um, kind of like main part of like the secret project because then I can go into more detail with my sketches in this one. The A5 one is for more like quick kind of sketches just to get an idea down. So and that's what the greaseproof paper is for, mainly for this one. So I can just, as you can see, I do have greaseproof paper in some areas just so I can protect my pages um, better because I don't like it when it smudges. Um, yeah. You know what I probably should have included is some paper towels. I think I'll stick that in um, once the video is finished. Um, this is just the packaging from like the mechanical pencil or the HB by the way just in case you were wondering and um, the zebra pens. Um, yeah so I just kept those in because I could possibly use them for something you never know. Um, but yeah, I'll stick some paper towel sheets in here, in just like in a space. And then I got some um, like A4 sleeves that you can like put files in and stuff. So I'm going to use this for any finished paintings for my watercolour block. Um, and I'll put those in there just to keep them um, protected so they don't get wet or anything. And I have just like 10 of those, I thought that should be enough. And in this sleeve... This I tend to take, this is like um, the sleeve that has some travelling stuff in it. Open it, right. So there's some book papers um, from like old books. You can see that some of it's quite vintage looking which is really nice. So there's some book paper, um, there is some tissue paper, all kind of different sorts, this really nice brown one. Um, some from like a shoebox, just some white tissue paper. I also have, um, this is some wax paper. I don't know why it's in here to be honest. I think, I'm not too sure. I can find a use for it. Um, I can put that in between pages and stuff to protect the um, pages or whatever. Um, this is some scrap wax paper. This is some like scrap um, paper that was like protecting my table. And then some of this is like kind of random experiments with watercolor. So I can do something pretty with that. That's a really nice one on book paper. This is some like scrap kind of sketchbook watercolor paper. I'm not too sure what kind and I'm not too sure the GSM either. Just kind of random. They're all sorts of random sizes and stuff. Probably from old projects and I just thought I would keep that in there. This, this I think this is like gessoed sketchbook paper. No idea why this is in here but again it'll be useful for if I just want to um, do a little something. And then this is just some plain paper that I can use um, to protect my surface I'm working on or to protect like in between my journal pages. Anything like that really. Um, yeah, so that's just a nice selection. As I said earlier, I probably won't be doing a lot of mixed media, but for when I want to, um, I can. And there's not a, like a huge selection, but this is like the kind of selection that will work for um, the situation I'll be in. And you know, it's really quite tricky trying to figure out like what to take because I want to take everything. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I would try to like limit to what I'm taking because I know I'll be like extremely busy with um, the whole build and everything. So yes, so that is what is in here. So that's just, these are just the bottles of mediums. Um, yes, so... Um, I hope you found that useful, um, especially if you're going on a kind of biggest trip and you have the ability to be able to take this much stuff, even if you don't have the ability to take this much stuff. You can take smaller bottles, like you can just take a smaller bottle of chalk primer, clear chalk primer um, or texture paste. Um, and just in case you're wondering, like chalk primer is like gesso, um, clear chalk primer is like clear gesso and um, I'm packing this wrong. I believe. I'm pretty sure I am. No, I'm packing it right, I think. 
I've forgotten how I was packing this now. I'm going to have to pack this properly. Um, and then texture paste is like modeling paste. Um, they're just all like slightly different, just in case you were wondering. Um, especially if you're new to the channel. I know some people um, always wonder like sometimes what I'm talking about when I say that. So I just thought I would clarify. Um, yeah, so this is just what I thought would be useful for me to take. Um, yeah, when you're, if you're packing things like, especially liquid things, please make sure one, to have, like to empty your bottles. Like I emptied my spray bottle and the water bottle and everything because I didn't want to get into trouble. Um, and I've, as you can see, I've like sealed any liquids with some cling film just to make sure because the seals are good on these things but I don't want to open the box when I get there and find um, clear chalk primer everywhere or anything like that because like clear chalk primer is a lot more liquidy than like chalk primer and texture paste. I'm not worried about texture paste seeping through but the clear chalk primer could um, especially like with the pressure of the plate and stuff. So um, I just like make sure that everything is nice and secure when you're doing this. Um, and yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Even though I will be away, there'll still be a video every Monday. So stay tuned. Um, I think this might possibly be one of the last videos before I leave. Um, so yeah, I will have a link below um, to my newsletter where you can also subscribe to my newsletter so you can find out when I'm back in the country because since my um, online shop won't be available for you to view um, while I'm away especially because it, it, I am having to find a new site as well when I'm back and all that is up and running I shall send out a newsletter saying that I have a new online shop so um, if you have like any like tips and tricks you want to share in the comments below to how you um, deal with the whole arting on the go thing please do pop that below or share my Facebook group and yes yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video thanks again for watching and please join me again for another video bye